upon a time, there was a guy named Ben Rose who worked for Obama for a year or two, up to uh, Deputy National Security Advisor. He was a speechwriter for Obama. And then he came out with a book that characterized this sclerotic, stuck-to-the-mud mindset of so much of the State Department, the diplomat-type people, and especially the national security people, called them the blob. This clueless, snake-eating-its-tail establishment who all went to the right schools, all come from the right families, or at least cultivated the right connections with the right flavor of brown lipstick, displayed just right, who all know what's best for other people's countries, because that's the same thing they read 30 years earlier. You know, base it on uh, their computer models. Maybe there's still some great big tables where they move countries and methods around like chess pieces. He's talking about, of course, limits to power here. I don't know, think tank studies. Books they write that no one else reads besides each other, supporting war after war after war. Invade Iraq, great idea. And without even trying to actually learn the country or its customs, or its culture, or its people, let alone visit them or even talk to them. Like Albert Einstein said, you can't just make the same mistake again and again and expect a different result. That's the blob in a nutshell. The Clintons, the Bushes, the Dulleses, the Cheneys, Rumsfeld, Kissinger, Robert McNamara, Robert Gates, Samantha Power, Susan Rice, John Kerry, John Bolton, Ryan Crocker, Chester Crocker, Tony Blair, Tony Blinken, Jimmy Carter, Joe Biden. The blob and the mistakes over and over and over again.